Okay, so we're given a story here, but ultimately you see that it deals with inequalities. So keep track of the greater than or less than, or the way they frame it. Is it going to be less than or equal to, and where will it be less than or greater than or equal to, or, or whatever. So as we read that, I keep that in mind. Anyway, the problem says students in a ninth grade class measured their heights, h, right, in centimeters. The height of the shortest student was 155. So our shortest value is 155, and everything else must be obviously greater than the shortest. And the tallest is 190, so think about that. I mean, that means all of our heights, right, could be larger than or equal to 155 or less than, and less than, excuse me, or equal to 190, everything between the smallest and greatest. So here, that's an end statement. It's got to be between both of them. So it's choice two. Right here, um, three doesn't really make sense because h is greater than or equal to 155, or h is greater than or less than or equal to 190. Well, it's got to be both greater than or equal to 155 and less than 190 because if you kind of take each of these um, individually, if h is greater than or equal to 155, couldn't that mean that h is anything greater than 155, like a thousand? right? Isn't there like no stop to it? Well, there is no stop to it. You can go as far as you want, unless it also has to be less than 190, right? Because here, it can't be one or the other. It's got to be both. If it's not both, then you can have these extreme values and consider each case individually. So that wouldn't work. So here, your choice is two. All right, hope this helped.